Hey there everyone, this is Cyan, welcome to my channel. I'm really excited to be sharing this video with you guys today because I'm finally recording a very well requested video and that is reading my Common App essay. So I applied to seven Common App colleges and those are Brown, Duke, Georgia Tech, Harvard, Rhode Island School of Design, Stanford, and USC. This is the essay that I submitted to all of those schools and I was accepted at Brown, Georgia Tech, Rhode Island School of Design, Stanford, and USC. I'll also be going through that entire Common App application in the next video, but for right now, I'm going to be reading my full personal essay. The prompt that I answered was, some students have a background, identity, interest, or talent that is so meaningful they believe their application would be incomplete without it. If this sounds like you, please share your story. I also posted it in the description box below. You can follow along. Also, um, there are some parts that are italicized and some parts that are not. So the parts that are in italics, I put little squigglies next to them. Let's go. I feel a familiar rush enter my stomach as I watch the earth beneath my seat pull closer. Buildings and roads appear from stretches of carpeted white clouds. On an airplane, diverse sets of people share the same space at the same time quietly sitting in each other's company for a few hours. The cabin lights turn on, and as people around me wake up and open their window shades, I wonder, what are their stories? We all started from the same point and are headed to the same destination, but each for vastly different reasons. Since childhood, I have been interested in the stories of other people's lives, never afraid to ask questions and excitedly awaiting the replies. I'm always digging to find what lies beneath the surface of the skin, because I know the authentic account of a person lies much deeper. I found that my curiosity about others often leads to me sharing my own story as well. I'm a Dutch, American, Jamaican, Asian, Guyanese girl. In the United States, at first glance, all that people see is a black girl. A Surinamese girl when in the Netherlands, and an African in Indonesia. But my life is more nuanced than just one simple adjective. No matter what city I am in, predetermined stereotypes draw presumptive boundaries that limit opportunities to engage in unencumbered dialogue. Prejudices often thwart the chance to really get to know new people. In the air, above all that noise, the clouds act as a separation from that one-sidedness and the perspective shifts. Delving deeper into my story, the strong influences of growing up in a diverse family reveal layers of my life that go far beyond the color of my skin. As the descent continues, I marvel at the sight of the city below. Evolving from its urban planner's intended aerial view drawings and into physical detailed forms, disparate places across the globe become more and more connected, and from ground level, I see that each city is unique. With its own personality waiting to be discovered, its own rules, and its own character. Growing up in a multicultural family, with immediate roots spanning five of the seven continents, learning about my own background was as much a process of discovery as an exploration of the cultures of others. When someone asks me, where are you from? I'm grateful to have the chance to share more than what can be assumed from the surface. My Dutch background instills me with a no-nonsense approach to life, which keeps me grounded. My Jamaican heritage teaches me to take life as it comes and to be appreciative of what I have. My Indonesian influences tied together family and the importance of curiosity and coexistence. And my Guyanese ancestry shows me the importance of hard work and relentless determination in every aspect of what I pursue. Being a global citizen means that it is my responsibility to be curious and to uncover the storyline beyond what I see. Traveling is like sharing a meal with a stranger or speaking to someone in their first language. It is the most authentic way of learning new perspectives on life. In the same way, the airplane has always been one of my most inspirational classrooms, where I am both the teacher and the student. As the plane breaks through the final layer of clouds, I see a vast, endless skyline free of boundaries, one-word labels, and skin-deep stereotypes. I see myself, Sayan Danjou, an out-of-the-box thinking, soto I am loving, fashion trend blazing, and YouTube video creating girl gliding across the sky with 100 other unique passengers who have ongoing, ever-changing narratives of their own. 
By the time we land at our destination, I desire to unravel the stories of those around me, just as I would like for them to know mine. So there we have it. Um, that was my essay for the comment application. As you can see, I really went into my own background and my curiosity about other people's stories. I was able to highlight my love for traveling using the airplane landing as a metaphor for that curiosity about other people's stories and for the nuances of people's characters and backgrounds. I really enjoyed writing this essay. It took me quite a while to get down. So, so, so many drafts and my entire family read it, edit it, get that comment, stuff like that. But again, I think it really turned out the best I could. So I hope this is a helpful video for you. I'm really excited about getting to share this whole process with everyone online. These are the types of videos that I really, really appreciated when I was going to see you here. Also, if you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out to me. Comment below, DM me on Instagram, anything like that. I'll leave all my social media in um, the description box. Definitely reach out to me and I'll make a video, I'll answer you um, because I want to be as helpful as possible because I had a lot of fun, honestly, in the college admissions process. I think it can be really fun if you allow yourself to, to put your story out there. It's really rewarding once you start getting back your decisions. So yeah, I hope you guys all have an amazing day. Good luck. Have a great summer. Relax. Do what you need to do. And I'll be back really soon with another video. Alright. Bye y'all.